Yo guys, what is going on? Moldy Cabbage Tree here. Welcome back to another video and I hope everyone is doing amazing. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven things that I'd like to see in Halo 7. Now, I thought this would be a good video to make just because I've seen a lot of people talking about the next Halo game, Halo 7, 343's cutting support for Infinite and we're now moving to the next game. I don't know why I'm doing this because it's probably very true as well. Um... I thought I'd just share my thoughts because there's a lot of interest in the next Halo game. There's a lot of people speaking about Infinite, you know, obviously having support cut. So I thought, why not? I'll talk about things that I'd like to see. Now I've got a pretty comprehensive list that I've uh, sat down and wrote here of the things that I'd like to see in the next game. And uh, let's get into it. So at number seven, I've got improved vehicle physics. Now, my problem with Infinite's vehicles, specifically the Warthog, the Mongoose, and the Gungoose, is the fact that they're not very stable. They feel very bouncy. They don't even feel like they're on the floor. They feel like they're floating. I'd just like to see those physics adjusted a little bit so then we have that more grounded feel, if you want to call it that, for things like the Mongoose, the, the Warthog, and the Gungoose. And, and, you know, basically vehicles on wheels. Um... I just thanks for blurring webcam I need to get a camera to record these videos honestly but yeah I just feel like those vehicles they're not very stable and again they, they don't feel like they're actually on the floor um it's not a massive thing but you know I'd, I'd just like to have a return to the more classic feel of our you know traditional vehicles that we've got but apart from that I actually do like the vehicles quite a lot oh and also change the horn sounds man put them to the classic sounds please three four three so at number six i've got well i'd like to see some improvements to the banished aesthetic uh you know i don't even need to get into this much to be honest if you've played halo wars 2 and you've played infinite's campaign you'll see exactly what i mean the banished in halo wars 2 look like the banished whereas infinite they look like sort of an off-brand version of the covenant they don't look like their own sort of faction well they, they do but like not not to the extent of halo wars 2 and I already thought that Halo Wars 2, uh, the Banished in there, they looked really good and they looked mean and, and terrifying the way that they're meant to look. Infinite, again, they, they look more clean, which is not a problem, but I just prefer the Halo Wars 2 aesthetic. I think it's way more fitting for the Banished. For example, Jackals, Grunts, Elites, they all look like they're out of the Covenant, really. Of course, you've got different people like uh, Jager, for example. He looks Banished. 100 million percent looks Banished. But the rest of them, they, they just look like the Covenant. Now, I get their conscripts and whatnot, but you wouldn't think that the Banished would want to have a Covenant colour scheme because they have a hatred for the Covenant. It's like... It, it's a little bit nitpicky, but it does make sense what I'm trying to say. And again, if you've played these two games, you'll get exactly what I'm on about. Even if you haven't and you've just seen clips of, of the two games, you'll know what I'm on about. For number five, I'd like to see the return of some vehicles, not even the return, more like the introduction. I'd like to see things like the Blister back, the Locust, the Scarab. I want to see the Scarab come back. I want to see things like the Vampire from a Halo Wars 1. Uh, engineers as well. What happened to Engineers? Are they dead? Are they alive? Like, bring them back. They're not vehicles. They're more like enemies, really. Well, I, I wouldn't say enemies because I do like them. But uh, just bring them back. You may as well. I mean, with an open world game like Infinite, you would expect to have all these different things put into it because it's such a massive environment. There's an, there's an opportunity to bring them back for Halo 7 or to introduce them into Halo 7. But again, it depends on the style of game as well. You can't really have Locusts, for example, in a linear bloody, you know, level like, I don't know, the Pillar of Autumn, if we want to get really specific, or if you want to put them into bloody, I don't know, a level like the storm it wouldn't really make much sense i would like it to be open world again and then this is more like an honorable mention at this stage but as long as we get more you know diverse environments i want to see things like uh, ice environments some more water orientated environments some desert environments uh, and of course we've already got the typical grasslands and the forest but bring more into it because again another missed opportunity with infinity could have been really cool and then that could add for things like snow variants of vehicles. So you could have like, um, I don't know, a snow colored rocket warthog or a snow colored wolverine, for example, or a snow colored cobra. 
Now, if you've played Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2, you'll know exactly what vehicles I'm on about. And I'll show some pictures as well on the screen, which I'm assuming I've done. Please, James, make, make sure you edit this in. Cheers, brother. <laughs> so, the next thing I'd like to see is the return of weapons. We're talking the sticky detonator, the spiker, the needle rifle, the fuel rod cannon, the brute shot, the plasma rifle. Even weapon variants. Oh, the saw as well. I want to see the saw. I want I want the saw to come back. Please. Come back. I love the saw. But weapon variants as well, like we had in Halo 5. Not loads and loads of them. Of course, we've already got weapon variants in Halo Infinite. But a few more weapon variants. I feel like, from what I can remember, Halo 5 had, had a little... A few, few too many. Not loads and loads, but more than we needed. Maybe that's just me having a rubbish take on the game but i feel like if we cut it down slightly then you've got the perfect amount of weapons there and that's i think is one problem with infinite i feel like the weapon sandbox is a little bit dry i, I don't know maybe that's just me again having a bad take but i feel like it is a little bit dry and it could do with more of these different weapons that i've just listed uh, it'd be really cool and plus seeing seeing these classic weapons come back Classic shotgun as well. Come on, we need that back. But seeing them come back would be really nice. Next, I'd like to see more modes come back. Now, we're talking about things like Assault, uh, Invasion, but that requires playable elites. If we get playable elites in the next game, but I'm not going to sit here and go on about that because people have been talking about playable elites for the past three years now, almost. We all want playable elites to come back, or most of us do anyway, so I'm not going to get into that seen warzone come to the game as well i really enjoyed warzone in halo 5 it's probably my most played you know game i enjoyed it a lot it was really good and i think that we need it vip juggernaut i'm just trying to think of some off the top of my head there's loads of them i think that they could all come back and i think that we need them really because they're good we all enjoy these kind of modes I know there's a massive, massive group of people who love Invasion. Uh, infection. I think I did say Infection. I can't remember off the top of my head. I've got a really bad memory at the moment. But Infection, I would want it to come back. It's in Infinite already. But I'd like it to be a bit more like the classic Infection because I feel like this Infection, it died off really quick. And I'll say why. It's got no soul. It doesn't feel like even close to the original. It's, it's sort of just meh. It's boring. I think the infected are way too quick. I just think it's it's not a really good infection mode. But yeah, um, we need some classic modes. We need some classic maps as well. I'd like to see things like Blood Gulch come back. I'd like to see Sword Base come back. Ascension, Hang'em High, Reflection, Countdown. I'd like to see these maps come back. Obviously, there's more that I'd like to see come back. And of course, there's maps like Guardian and the Pit that we've already got in Infinite. I'd like to see those in the next game as well. I'd like to see a healthy mix of classic maps or older maps and new, you know, new maps that 343's created. So in this section, I'm going to be talking about characters. Now, before I begin, I just want to say I know my appearance is different. I'm well aware. You should be aware of that as well. I'm recording this, this section of the video like two weeks after I initially, you know, recorded the, the actual video. Um... I wanted to make some changes to this point where I'm going to talk about all the characters that I want to see come back. So yeah. So I'm just going to quickly quick fire some characters that I'd like to see come back. Lasky. We had a lot of audio um, audio messages. The, you know, the little things, that you, the Easter egg things in Infinite. Talking about Lasky, the stuff that happened on the, uh, on the Infinity. We don't know where he is. I want to see him come back because I do like Lasky as a character. And come on. It's Lasky. We've got to see a follow-up. What happened to the people on the Infinity? The Arbiter, that's pretty bog standard. We want to see Thal come back. We don't know where he's right now, as far as I'm aware. Next, Artas Vadum, the shipmaster from Halo 2 and Halo 3. We want to know what's happened to him. Is he alive, dead, on holiday? <laughs> we don't know. We want to see him come back. I love him as a character. I want to see him. Red Team. Now... I don't know if it's right to bring Red Team into the next game. It would be cool, but when you're talking about the story of the next game, it's not what's about cool, it's about what makes sense. Does it make sense to put Red Team into the next mainline game alongside Chief? Um, again, it'd be cool, but I don't know if that fully makes sense. Thrall Slayer. 
Thrall Slayer. I'll just put my other hand up because I don't know how many things I had up on this one. Just so I don't look weird. Thrall Slayer. Where is he? He was in Halo Wars. I think that we've had some lore about him come out recently. I read some at somewhere. But he was sick. I want to see him come back. He is a badass man. I love him. Um, who else is that? Locke. Is Locke dead or is he alive? I think he's alive, but I want to see what's happened to him. I feel like he can be written differently and, and, and written to a point where he's actually an, a character that we can enjoy because he was poorly written in Halo 5. But I want to see him after his showdown with Hyperius, you know, the helmet on Hyperius's shoulder, some of his other arm pieces that he was wearing. Like, you know, what's happened to Locke? Is he, is he dead or alive? Where is he, man? <laughs> Aatrox as well. We've got to see some stuff with Chief versus Aatrox again. We've got to see the rematch. I'll get into that in a second. Um, the Endless. We've had a lot of talk about the Endless. We don't know what, what they even are fully. So I think that we've got to have a follow-up on, on the stuff from Halo Infinite. And we've got to see the Endless and what they are, how they're going to play into the story. I want to see that personally because, again, We've had a lot of hype about the next Halo game being called Halo the Endless. I don't know if that's true, but I've seen a lot of rumors, a lot of hype about that. So I want to see him, you know, what are they? Something new for the franchise. Um, follow up on the Didact, uh, the Flood. I want to see the Flood come back as well. Before I get into my next point, I just want to say I understand that these this may be too many different characters to put into one game. I'm aware of that. I'm just quick firing characters that I'd like to see return. Maybe not in the next game, maybe the game after or the game after, you know. But either way, we've got to see a follow up on these characters. Master Chief versus Aatrox. I think that we've got to have Aatrox versus Chief again. You know, the first fight wasn't really all that fair. It wasn't a fair, you know, duel. Um, you know, Aatrox got the jump on Chief. That was it, you know. Chief got ragdolled. We're aware of this. He got clapped. But I genuinely believe that Master Chief can beat Aatrox. Now, a lot of people make the point of, oh, Chief, he's too old. He's like 40 something years old now. Are we going to forget about Sergeant Johnson, who was about 75 years of age in Halo 2, who was standing and banging with the fucking Arbiter? He's just, he's, he's not really augmented that much either compared to Chief. He's superhuman, but not by, like, compared to Chief, he's, he's practically like a normal guy. <laughs> so, all I'm saying is, if Johnson can stand and bang with the Arbiter, okay, yeah, he lost, but that's expected. If he can do that, if he can fight the way that he fought throughout CE, 2, 3, you know, why can't Chief beat one guy, one brute? Now, I understand that Aatrox is a very, very dangerous character. I'm well aware of this. We all are. It's Aatrox. The man is, or the man, the thing, whatever you want to call him, is a badass. You know, he's known for he's known, he's known for, for kicking people's asses. Fair play to him. But we're talking about Chief, and, you know, I, I think that Master Chief has got the tools. I think that he's got the knowledge, the IQ, all the rest of it, to be able to beat Aatrox. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, why not get Red Team in to back Master Chief up and the Arbiter and this person and this person? We're talking about the Master Chief. He's only 40-something years old. He's the best of the best. I think, personally, that Master Chief can do it. Again, look at his lore. Look at his experience. Look at his feats. I think that he can do it. And I think getting Red Team in and getting all these different people to back him up is... I feel like it's a little bit of a disrespect to the character. I don't think it would make much sense to have all those different people backing Chief up to fight Aatrox against something like the Flood, you know, the Grave Mind. That's different. Master Chief has beaten the odds practically his whole life. I don't see why he can't muster, you know, muster up the strength for one last showdown to beat Aatrox. I've never understood that. I think Master Chief slept on quite a bit as a character. We'll see. Um, personally, I think I still think Chief's got it. He's maybe just in his prime now. He's probably been in his prime for a little while, you know? I think that we do need to see that matchup, though. I'm talking like this is heavyweight boxing or like <laughs> heavyweight fucking uh, uh, like for the UFC title or something crazy. It's like... <laughs> it's one of them. I just hope that we see something good. And uh, yeah, 
on to the next point i'm now going to change clothes and shorten my beard a bit and my hair and then we're back we're back in the past and lastly this is really the number one for everyone i would assume a content complete launch now as we know infinite it wasn't content complete it was missing a lot of things at launch it had a lot of bugs at launch it wasn't optimized you know you had all these problems with the game can we try and sort of get out of the habit of of, of making games that are not complete and re releasing them to the public we deserve better than that as fans you know a lot of us have been following this this franchise for 13 14 15 even 20 years i've been following it for about 14 years myself as you can see behind me I'm a big fan. I've got loads and loads more Halo stuff over there. I love Halo. Doesn't matter how bad it gets, I'll still play it. I, I really don't like Infinite as a game, to be honest, as far as the multiplayer goes. But I still play it on stream because you know what? The viewers make it a lot more enjoyable and I enjoy playing with the viewers as well. But that's besides the point. I just want to see a content complete launch. Now, I would like to make another point. Uh, my final point, actually. I'd like to see Infinite built using a different engine. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and act like I actually know about game development because I don't. I'm not into game development personally. I ain't clued up on all the ins and outs and, and the intricacies of game development. I'm into networking and cybersecurity and things like that. That's my bag. Ba practically everything that isn't game development. I think the engine that Infinite is, is built in and, and that, that it uses is not very good. Even after two and a half years, I think it's almost two and a half years now since launch, the game, it just feels unstable, not with frames, because it is quite good with frames for me personally. It's It runs quite smooth in that aspect, but it's just the way it feels. It feels very choppy, and um, a guy in my chat said this, actually, uh, Lazarus Oasis. He said that it feels like you're walking through pudding, and I agree with him 100%. It's weird. It's hard to explain from someone who, from my point of view, someone who doesn't, who isn't into game development. But that's just how I feel about it. I think using a new engine would completely solve this problem. And I did see a lot of people complain at the beginning of the game about the engine and how it, you know, how it was rubbish and, and how Infinite was built using glue and, and sellotape. And, and I would probably agree with that. But there you go. That's my seven things I'd like to see. Now, there's obviously a lot more things that I would like to see in the game. There's a lot, there's a lot of things in Infinite that I'd like to see carried over to halo 7 like i said the maps the modes the weapons that we've got as well for example the shot rifle i love the shot rifle some of the new different enemies like the um the grunt i forget the grunt mule i love the grunt mule man he's a cool little guy i love him the ardent hunters as well i'd like to see those in halo 7 all these different things but anyway that is my seven things i'd like to see in halo 7 uh, if you did enjoy, if you do agree with the points that I've made, please do drop a like and definitely subscribe if you are new here with notifications set to all. Um, I'm I'm trying to get 500. Five, I'm trying to get 500. Subs, I'm trying to get 500 subscribers before I go to HCS London on May the 30th, which well, starts on the 31st. But I'm going a day early. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to reach that goal. I've just set it because why not? You know, I like challenging myself. I like trying to hit goals and I like getting you guys to hit goals. You know, I think that we could smash this personally. So please do drop a sub. Also, if you'd like me to do a part two of this for, for you know, maybe you can think of something that I haven't thought of. Tell me in the comments. I'm more than happy to do a part two of this video. I've really enjoyed making this video and I've enjoyed sharing my thoughts and opinions with you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. So do take care. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in a bit. Hey! Come on! Oh, they, uh, they just spawned in. Nice. He's fucking orange. What? He didn't even get to finish his, his fucking his Gauss energy drink either. You played it your own game, son. I just killed you. Mate, I'll have you now.